Good morning, everyone. I got Buck's corn. He's already at the spot waiting, of course. You know, Buck, he gets excited for breakfast and dinner, right? He's so excited. His water bucket, so he has fresh water, corn, the peanut bowl is right here. Well, not peanut bowl, it's peanuts and apples. You ready? You ready, my big boy? Here, cut up two apples. They were nice sized apples, too. So it's like Buck is really eating like three apples because <laughs> the apples are nice, one of them was nice and big, right? So it's like you're having three apples, really, and peanuts. Don't drop any apples. And I spread the peanuts all around. So he has every peanut in there. He has almonds, cashews, pecans. That's my big boy. Oh, Bluey's here. Oh, he just flew. He grabbed a piece of bread and flew. Good boy. So beautiful outside, it is gorgeous. The only reason why I wear a jacket because to try to prevent like bugs or ticks or anything crawling on me, you know. And I have this jacket, it's like a windbreaker jacket, so I'm assuming if any bug lands on me, hopefully they slide right off. But even if I wasn't wearing a jacket, it's still nice out, it's so beautiful out. Oh, I see some of the seeds sprouted. It's hard to tell on camera, like, you know, for me to record it. Buck, you dropped that on my side this time. Yes, you did. You're going to drop more apples. And you just dropped that on your side. <laughs> I swear this guy, he's like a pig. You're like a pig. You really do. This is a close-up of Buck. I know many of you have seen close-ups of Buck. I always try to do close-ups video like really close so everybody could see like exactly you know his features and everything i love the black hair on his head this is my favorite part of his of his hair is this right here this part i love this part buck it's so cute looks like he, it looks like he has a hairdo right it looks like you have a hairdo my big boy now he's gonna get the apple that fell on the floor you're enjoying your breakfast my big boy I'm happy you're enjoying your breakfast. It's so nice out. It is gorgeous. I think today I might take the baby for a walk in the stroller. It's because I have the stroller in the basement. And it's a big stroller because I have like the bassinet type of stroller. Like it looks like it's like a bassinet shaped thingy. So me and my husband have been dreading it to get it and bring it, you know, upstairs to our apartment. Because where we live, it's like a mother-daughter house, you know? So my in-laws, they live on, like, one side, and me and my husband live on the other side. That's how it is. So, oh, my God, I see two squirrels right now chasing each other. I guess mating season started with the little ones. Because <laughs> I already see him birds mating, so I think mating season started. The other day, I seen a rabbit chasing another rabbit. So I'm assuming it started. That's it. You got no more, baby. Good boy. Good boy, go eat your corn. Go eat your corn. And you have water, you have corn. Yeah, Bluey, I hear you. That was Bluey. I think Bluey's the only one that actually speaks to me back when I talk to him, if I say his name. Red the Carnival did him not pop up yet. Not yet. Now Buck is eating his corn. Oh, it's so beautiful out today, guys. Really beautiful. Like, oh my God, I love it. I love this weather. Even the air smells so like, it smells like springy, that spring air, you know? When you kind of get a little whiff of the grass and the trees, the flowers, like I love that. Thank God I don't suffer from allergies because, <laughs> you know, me being out here with him and being around like, you know, a whole bunch of trees and grass and everything, like, you know, I would have been sneezing up a storm. But thank God, that's one thing I don't have is allergies. My mom and my brother, they suffer big time with allergies, like the seasonal allergies. Oh, especially my brother, forget it. He has to take Claritin during this time of the season and sometimes summer too, because he starts 
sneezing and his eyes get watery. I was like, oh, thank God that's one thing I don't have. Like being around grass, trees, or, you know, like seasonal like thingies. I don't, it doesn't bother me. Thank God. Because I know some people, they could suffer a lot from allergies, you know? That buck is enjoying his corn. He has fresh water. You know what's funny? Because when I walked up to the spot, I was going to record it, but he jumped so quick back on his side. He was standing right over there on my side. So he was probably about to walk on the blacktop, probably, because he smelled me. Because I feel like once he sm he must smell me, like my scent. Once he knows I'm outside, he try he jumps over and like tries to come to me. But then usually I look, I thank God I'm outside on time. And I tell him, I'm like, go back home. I'm like, I'm coming, go home. And he listens, he listens so well. well I can't say so well, because not all the time he listens to me when I tell him to go home. Sometimes he has no patience and he wants me to feed him on my side, but I try not to. Because I don't want to get him used to eating on my side. Like I said, you know, I have a busy driveway where we have delivery trucks constantly coming up. And then my father-in-law, he goes out a lot. So he goes up and down the driveway, you know, with his car. So it's like, I don't want to get him used to eating on my side of, you know, of over here on my side. Because if he eats on my side, God forbid a car or a delivery truck is coming. He gets scared and he runs like the wrong way or something, you know. Because that's how deers are. When they get scared, they, they run, but they don't think like which way to turn first. They don't know like which way to turn first because they get so scared. So that's why my husband's like, don't feed him on our side because, you know, deers are very like, you know, skittish when they get scared and they go run and like, you know, God forbid he crashes into me and bumps into me while he's trying to run. I know he would never mean to hurt me, but we don't know like, you know, if he gets scared and I'm in his way or something, you know? So that's why I try not to feed him on my side. I always tell him that he has to go on his side to eat the food. But thank God he's so far, he's been listening so well to me i can't complain buck is such a good deer he really is he's an angel i really do think he's an angel and i i really do think god like made buck come into my life for a good reason i really do like i said before buck came into my life me and my husband we were trying to have a baby for over like six years seven years of trying really like it was so hard of us trying like we literally and like I said, this past two years, me and Buck, our bond grew even stronger together. Where when I'm around him, I feel so peaceful and like happy. Where I feel like, you know, the beginning of this year, like, you know, last, the summer of last year when I got pregnant, I really do think it was Buck's luck, like of keeping me calm and happy. And that's why it happened. I really do think that. So I always, I tell everybody that Buck is my good luck charm. Right? My big boy, mommy loves you so much. I really do believe he's my good luck charm. He really is. He's such a good deer. He really is. And he's such a good boy. Even during rut. During like, you know, when he gets crazy. With me, he's good. I like, he's so good. One of my friends that they're a hunter. They used to, he used to tell me, oh, if you get your period, don't stay next to him. Because he'll try to hump you. He'll try to do this and that. And, you know, he'll come at you. That was a myth because like you know i know that there's guys on my subscribers so i'm sorry for the men that have to hear this but when i have my period buck doesn't do nothing he acts the same he never acts different like you know weird or aggressive or shows any type of anything like you know he's so good he really is he's such a good boy even my husband was like when he sees Buck around me, he always tells all his brothers, like, you know, he tells his brothers and he'll tell his friends, like, yeah, this deer is a male and he's so calm around my wife. Like, my wife could calm him down when he gets nervous. Like, he's so good with her. Like, you know, he would never try to hurt her. And he doesn't. He's such a good boy. And I notice he's always so calm around me. Thank God. Like, he's such a good boy. That's because he trusts me. And I always tell him, too. Like, I literally do. I talk to him like I talk to a person. I tell him. I'm like, don't worry, Buck. I'll keep you protected. I'm like, I got your back. I always tell him that. I got your back. As far as Red the Carnival didn't show up yet.
so gorgeous out. It really is. So nice out. I love this weather. I know I keep saying it, but guys, I'm just, I miss this nice weather, you know? I feel like we had a long, long winter. And then I feel like when that Groundhog Day came and the Groundhog said spring was going to come sooner, I thought that was BS because right after that Groundhog came, it was still cold, like really, really cold, like winter cold. And spring did not come quick. But now we could say like spring is finally here. Like, you know, that weather of spring. Well, I don't expect it to get cold anymore. Hopefully not. I don't think so. I notice at night now it's been in the 50s doesn't go down to 30s anymore like about a week two weeks ago it wasn't 30s at night I was like oh my god but I have my heaters off in my house I have the heater off we shut the heater off because it was getting too hot in the house even with the heater being like set on the low low temperature it was still getting too hot so I told my husband I was like, let's shut it off that's it no more heat Oh, I was about to spray his ear. I was about to spray his ear, but I don't want to make it mad. Oh, so nice out. All right, everyone. I'm going to get going inside because I know my son should be waking up soon. Like I said, he always wakes up either during Buck's feed-ins or like right after. So once I get inside... My husband usually feeds him, but my husband has a hard time burping him. He'll tell me, like, baby, he's not burping with me. So that's why I usually take over. I'm like, all right, just feed him, and I'll take over when he has to get burped. I'm like, mommies, they know how to burp them. We'll burp. I'll get him to burp. Because my son, he's a... You have to keep tapping his back for, forget it, for like 15 minutes, sometimes even 20 minutes before he does one burp. And I'm like, really? But even my baby, thank God I got blessed with a good baby that sleeps. Like, you know, he sleeps through somewhat of the night. I would say somewhat. Not like a full night yet, which I understand he's still little, you know. He still has to wake up for his milk. He still needs his milk, you know, through the night. But he sleeps for a good, like, four hours straight where he doesn't wake up. And I'm thankful for that. Because some babies wake up every an hour and a half, two hours, you know, three hours. And he sleeps for a good four to five hours, I would say, straight. Oh, there was a bee. Now you eating the bread? You gotta save some for the birds, Buck. Because I didn't throw a lot today. He always eats the bread that I throw for the birds. I can't with him, I swear. <clears throat> Alright, everyone. I'm gonna get going. I'll be back with Buck's dinner this evening. Which the weather's probably gonna be even more beautiful by then, I'm assuming. And my father-in-law, I think, or my mother-in-law, one of them is gonna be watching the baby. I don't know who. One of them. But I'll be back later. Buck is doing great. I'm doing great. The baby's doing great. Oh, a bird just flew over my head. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, so I'll definitely be back later this evening with Buck's dinner video. Buck's antlers grew a lot more. Like his antlers literally, you see, like they're starting to stand out even more. I'll tell you, they grow, they're growing really, really fast. Let me see if I can spray him while he's standing there, but I don't want him to see me. All right, maybe he didn't, yeah, he didn't notice that I sprayed him. Because I sprayed, but he didn't notice it. All right, it's okay. Go eat your corn. You're okay. All right, this time he noticed it. See, and then he gets so mad that he leaves. But here's something else. All right, everyone, I'll be back later this evening. But got mad that I sprayed him. He left. But he ate most of his corn. He has water. So I'll be back later, everyone. Ciao for now.